next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. A near-perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen. He'll be trying to put on a striking point once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you a sniper. The jab always with the chin, the right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching his land, that beautiful left body shot, as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never on the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155. And when you've done everything that Habib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Habib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Meyer! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a grappler holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seemed pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situations. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Dig and kick. Throws the right hand there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Takedown defense holds up. 
Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Now closes the distance. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Oh, nice elbow. Blocks the shot. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, brutal knee to the body. That uppercut in. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Under a minute to go in the round. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Take a couple deep breaths. Relax, breathe. Let's refocus them. We're looking a little careless out there. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Another clinch position. Look for a level change as he tries to secure a takedown. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight. And there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, blocks the shot. Body kick now by Nermago Medov. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get oh, him. he might be out. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, huge block. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! 
right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Ooh, head kick lands, this hurt. Oh! oh. So the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Huge knee lands in the tight clinch. There's no give on that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now he's got the tight clinch. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nurmagomedov shot there is blocked. Left hand punches the clip. Oh! Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, that's a hell of a kick. Wow! That'll do it! He got it! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality, so if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the win by TKO. That is one they'll be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Andrew Bings called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Maya! Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay, we don't need the scorecards. We don't need the scorecards. Do as you may, proceed as you may. Because this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the finish.